I have decided that I want to take a bunch of your guys' cats and put them all into a clan together and see what happens. But of course, I can't do that without a little bit of your help. So in the description below, I will have a form for you to fill out with a screenshot of your cat and a little information about them. And with that, I will add your cat and a bunch of other people's cats into a clan together. And through that, I will be drawing people's cats as well. We'll see what hijinks ensue and you get free art of your cat. So check out the link in the description for more information on that. And I look forward to seeing what hijinks ensue. Alright, so continuing off where we left last time, need to... Here we go. With one vote, Pike Shade and Might Kit have drawn. Bracken Kit has two votes. Elm Spots has three votes. And our winner, Pool Leopard, has five votes. So, we will be selecting Pool Leopard as our new main character. I'm very happy with the choice we have here. She is very, very pretty, and I'm excited to draw her. So let's see, let's uh, update ourselves on all the clan and stuff now. We're on 17 moons. Oh no, we're, we're- our age is 17 moons. I don't remember how old our last cat was. But Pool Leopard is 17 moons. Clan is pretty big. Pool Leopard, we're gonna look at your family tree real quick. Let's see, your grandparents are Carnation Splash and Streak Star. Your parents are Barry, Fontrot, and Olive Mallow. I think Barry was your birth parent, and the other two were your adopted parent, if I believe- if I remember correctly. Your parents' siblings were Cedar Grove and Might Tail. And then your sibling is obviously Elm Spot. And let's look at your relationships, let's see. So, you respect Cotton Trot, Olive Mallow, you like a lot. You don't really care for Dahlia Snap, or Droplet Snarl, or nobody. You really respect Copper Ghost. I forgot how cool of a name Copper Ghost is. M spots you kind of like and kind of are comfortable around. You trust more than most cats at least, but you don't have very any really strong relationships. Your strongest relationship is a platonic one with Olive Mallow. Yeah, but Pool Leopard's uh, grieving right now because their parent was obviously killed last like, moon or two ago. Yo, Clint died of green cough. I didn't even notice this until just now. Oops. So I think I'm just going to read the ones that have to do with our character because, you know, looking... We, w we wouldn't know about all the rest of this. So Olive Mallow is surprised by Pool Leopard being thoughtful. Oh, Edelwisk Goose confessed their feelings to Olive Mallow, but they got rejected. Oh no, Bio Glint got a freaking mate right before dying. Oh, Copper Ghost, I'm sorry. Pool Leopard wishes they could get their sh their pelt to shine like downy spots. Bracken Kit reminds Pool Leopard to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Well, that's sweet. Bracken Kit, you know, looking out for Pool Leopard. They can see that Pool Leopard's grieving and not feeling the best and, you know, stepping forward to try and help. During a training session, he's weak your paw. Great, so we're grieving and now we have an issue with our paw. Tension rises between the clans. Ooh. You remain vigilant, ready to leap at your clan's defense. Well, maybe rest your paw a little bit before then, please. You share a quiet moment with your leader, which is their grandparent, by the way. Their gaze meeting yours with unspoken understanding. You playfully spar with an apprentice. Their improving skills bring a grin to your face. Oh, an illness sweeps through their nursery. Your heart aches as you deliver herbs to these stricken kittens. This is Pool Leopard's grieving, has a twisted paw, and is still coming through and trying to help everybody as much as they can. Yeah, Bio Glint, everybody's upset about. Copper Ghost looks at the cat sitting vigil for Bio Glint and wonders how any of them will cope without Bio Glint in their lives. Cats offer Copper Ghost comfort and care, they refuse all of it. Man, I'm sure Pool Leopard's like trying to comfort them and being like, oh, I understand, I've just gone through the same thing. You know, like a death. But you know, Copper Ghost just needs some time alone. Yeah, here's Copper Ghost. Definitely grieving. Yeah, you're still grieving, and I think you have a twisted foot, don't you? Eh, you might just be grieving. Your twisted foot might have not have been an actual condition. Might have just been uncomfortable. During a gathering, tensions rise between the clans. 
You remain vigilant, ready to leap to your clan's defense. Though, same same thing as last moon, our clans are not getting along. You journey to another clan to deliver a message, the unfamiliar territory stretching out before you. So I imagine, you know, one of the clans we seem to be having rivalries against, and so we're trying to make allies with the other clans as quickly as possible. It would be a very smart thing to do. So hopefully that's what we're planning to do. You and your patrol successfully chase off a rival clan. The victory yowls echo through the forest. I'm assuming it's this one that we, we keep having tension with. Like, that's probably the one that we chased off. That's probably why we're having... No! The past moon, Bracken Kid has taken their place in Star Clan. Droplet mourns their loss, and the clanmates will miss the spot that they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in the stories around a circle of mourners, of those that were close to them, and take them to their final resting place. Why did Bracken Kit die? What happened? Whoa, we got somebody named Moonflame. That is a rad name. Poppy Kit seems Moonflame arrive in the clan and offer us to show them around. Let's see, who are you? Oh, you're awesome. Moonflame is a very fitting name for you. Just because of your, like, pale coloring and the little flame-tipped ear. And the yellow eyes, like, it all... That looks great. I love this. I love this cat's design already. Dropless snarl cop, Full Leopard, complaining about them behind their back. Full Leopard stands tall when Marsh Cloud walks by. Doesn't look like Full Leopard went and introduced themselves to the new cat, but that's probably because they're not feeling the best. Man, it's difficult because we can't do, like, any patrol stuff right now. We're too grief-stricken to do anything. Oh, we really respect Copper Ghost. That's new. That's awesome, but that's definitely new. Oh, we just like Downy Spots. Oh, come on. Downy Spots just looks like a little skunk. I love it. Pool Leopard thinks to themselves that they can't let these feelings consume them. Instead, they have to learn to live with it. A trespassing loner challenges your patience. You manage to chase them off without a fight. An earthquake rocks your camp. You help them calm the frightened kittens. You get to a spat with a clanmate over prey. Tempers flare, but eventually a resolution is found. So it sounds like Pool Leopard is finally getting over their grieving that they've been dealing with lately. That's awesome. It means we can finally go on patrols again. <laughs> Even though they're excited to finally be made an apprentice, it takes a bit of coaxing by Cosmo Spark for Might Kit to stand forward for their ceremony. Cosmo Spark watches in pride as they're named Might Paw and touches his nose with Cedar Grove. Cosmo Spark is watching with pride as Poppy Paw is named and given to Rift Leaf to apprentice under. They know that Rift Leaf was a good choice. Dang, so we don't have an apprentice yet, I don't think. Maybe we do. Hold on. Do we have an apprentice? Uh, no, I didn't think so. Okay. Man, almost none of these are about Leopard. Pool Leopard must keep to herself a lot. Whoa, Pool Leopard wonders what Peach Spore thinks about me. Pool Leopard, are you crushing? I think Pool Leopard might be developing a crush on Peach Spore over here. Yeah, Peach, oh, you are developing a crush, look at that. Very small, but still there. The deputy is forming a border patrol, do you want to volunteer? Proceed. You volunteer for the patrol, but get distracted and miss marking a sit marker. Your mistake is pointed out, but forgiven. Yeah, Pool Leopard's had a little bit of a break from patrolling and all this, and, you know, needs a little bit of a refresher getting back into things now that they're past their grieving. You share a haunting tale with the apprentices. Pool Leopard, I swear, you just like to torment the little apprentices so much. You lead a patrol to mark the boundaries of your territory. The scent of home fills you with a sense of pride and belonging. So I assume since they missed the scent marker last time, they're kind of having to make up for it. And so they're leading patrol to go mark stuff this time. You take part in an unsuccessful raid against another clan. The defeat stings, but you retreat with your head held high. You try to sneak up on an elder for a playful scare, but your loud purring gives you away. I wonder if this elder was their grandparent and they're trying to sneak up on one of their grandparents. Just trying to play along with them and stuff. Seems like a lot of people are getting past their grief recently of people passing away. And also a lot of people have gotten over stuff like running nose. Townie spots said they'd cover for Pool Leopard, but when it came time, they got Pool Leopard in trouble. We do not get along with Downy spots at all. Like, I think we hate you. Like, our relationship with you just keeps getting worse and worse. It's still just a very small amount of dislike, but, you know, not very good. During a hunting patrol, you spot a large, plump squirrel. However, it's close to Dappled Clan border. Crossing it could lead to a skirmish. Hmm. 
I think we're feeling brave. You attempt to catch the squirrel, but a tap old clan patrol spots you. A fight ensues, and you return to your clan empty pot. Okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't have felt brave then, huh? I wonder, Peach Squirrel, what do you think about us? Uh-oh, you have romantic, like, cradle whiskers. You have, a, you have a small crush on us, though. That's looking hopeful. Dude, Riffleaf and Staghale are, like, your best friends ever, though. Look at this. Hold on, you're related. Hold on. Are those your siblings, then? Yeah. So you three are, like, very, very close. Let's see how our apprentices are doing. Got my paw. Who is a lot different than the last time we looked at him. And Poppy Paw. They're both very cute. I think Copper Ghost is probably one of my favorite names. Something about it just, it's really cool sounding. And I really like Downy Spot's patterning. Like, he looks awesome. Moonflame is a very cool name. Both like, just very cool sounding and also very fitting, I feel like. Edelviscus is freaking uh, tongue twister to say. It's, I swear, it's, it's a long name. Oh, you're non-binary. I didn't even notice your gender change. A prophecy from Star Clan leaves you and your clan anxious. The days become a blur of preparations and precautions. A flood threatens your camp. You aid in frantic efforts to evacuate and save as much as you can. Okay, well, Star Clan was like, "Yo, we're about to flood your camp," and we're like, "Okay, besties, <laughs> we'll fix it." Oh my gosh, Drake Star was mauled by dogs and lost all of their lives. They lost their laugh life and have traveled the Star Clan. Freak! Oh my gosh. You lived 150 moons though, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, I wonder who the new leader is going to be. I mean, probably the deputy, but I wonder who the next deputy is going to be then. Pullover is talking with Marsh Cloud. So here we go Cotton Star is now the new leader. your leader ceremony. Cotton Trot leaves to speak with Star Clan. They close their eyes and are immediately surrounded by loved ones, friends, and clanmates who have passed on. Stars shine throughout their pelts, and their eyes are warm as they greet the new leader. Bright Freckle dips their head in greeting. Energy surges through Cotton Trot's pelt as they receive a life for acceptance. They reassure Cotton Trot that they are almost done. There's do no doubt in Yokai's eyes that Star Clan made a good choice in leader. Cotton Trot has demonstrated their faith in Star Clan time and time again, and it is their honor to give them a life for bravery. When Sableback presses their nose against Cotton Trot's head to give them for mercy, they swear they can already see a starlight in their fur. Cotton Trot walks up to Cotton Trot, offering a life of sympathy. Aww. Uh -huh. They smile and state that the clan will do well under Cotton Trot's leadership. Man, our past cat really did just, you know, talk to them personally. Glow Kit nearly sprints out of the crowd. Caught last moment by an elder, an older Star Clan cat who gives a sharp but endearing whisper before setting back down. Glow Kit continues forward towards Cotton Trot, but slower this time. They contain their excitement when they give a life for patience. They press themselves tightly. <laughs> patience, really, after you just got like told to be more patient, bro. You learned that lesson quick. They press themselves tightly against Cotton Trot's legs before re returning to the ranks of Star Clan. Rosiepad strides forward, and energy in their step that wasn't present in their last moments. They give a life for persistence. When Carnation Splash presses their nose against Cotton Trot's head, give life for strength, they swear that they can already see starlight in their fur. Holly Gale approaches, a warm smile on their face. They offer a life for wisdom, whispering to take care of the clan the best that they can. Finally, Streak Star steps forward. There's pride in their eyes as they stare into Cotton Trot's eyes. They give a life for loyalty to their clan. Greek Star hails Cotton Trot by their new name, Cotton Star, telling them that their old life is no more, and they are granted guardianship of Droplet Clan and are told to use their new power wisely. Their group of starry cats yowls Cotton Star's name and support. Cotton Star wakes up, feeling a new strength within their body, and know that they are ready to lead the clan. So if Cotton Star is our new leader, who is our new deputy? I don't think we have one yet, because you're a medicine cat. So I guess we'll see soon. During a patrol, you spot a strange wooden path that's slightly elevated. It has some birds on it. What is this? Uh, are we looking at a perch or a fence or something? Or maybe just a port? You leap onto the path, snagging a bird with your claws. Your clanmates are impressed with your catch. Oh, pool leopard's back in the swing of things. Look at you go. Pool leopard had some issues after getting over their grief, but they are definitely pulling back now. 
Nothing interesting happens this moon. Except for grieving because of Streakstar. <laughs> Olive Mas Mallow fusses gently with Streakstar's fur, hiding the evidence of what killed them. They want to remember them as they were in life, not like this. In the dead of night, Olive Mallow walks into the vast sky, unable to fathom StarClan's cruelty. They glare up at Silverpelt, gouging the earth with shaky claws. So it seems like a lot of people are going to be definitely grieving and stuff for a bit. Let's see, Cedar Grove wails when they see the body of their parent, Streakstar lying still and cold. Once night comes and they fall asleep, Cedar Grove desperately wails Streakstar's name, moving mints frantically as they struggle, no refuse to accept their death. Oh, still no deputy. I do have it set where you can choose a deputy by yourself, right? Let's check real quick. So let's go on our patrol for today. You find a particular smooth stone on the river that reminds you of a cat you're fond of. You think they might like it as a gift. Oh, I wonder who we're going to give it to. You present the stone, but they seem confused and unsure what to do with it. You feel embarrassed. Replaying this moment over and over again while you're in that nest your night. Oh my goodness. You know, some people just don't understand the love for rocks. <gasps> Ooh, you're standing amidst your clan. Your eyes on Cotton Star and Paw Podpaw. Cottonstar's voice echoes through the clearing, announcing your new role as mentor to Podpaw. Shocked, you feel a swell of excitement rise within you. You step forward, meeting Podpaw's gaze. The younger cat's eyes are full of excitement and respect. You touch her nose to theirs, a traditional knowledge of your new bond. Pulling back, you make a silent pledge to Podpaw to make them into the best warrior. So did somebody have kittens recently and I didn't see? Yeah, Podpaw, where'd you come from? Oh, you're formerly a rogue. Okay. They got brought in and then you were given me. That's awesome. I'm very glad that I was considered to be their mentor. You lead a hunting party into territory and your keen senses turn into every rustle and movement around you. During the day, you take a quaint moment to survey the clan's territory from a vantage point of a tall oak. Very cool. The leopard is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Poppy Paw. The pool leopard... Oh, wait, hold on. Pool Leopard. We're the new deputy? Oh, you know, I'll take it. That is very cool, though. What the heck? Let's see, what does our relationships look like? We have a platonic like towards Olive Mellow still. A platonic and a little bit of a crush on Peach Spore. We respect Copper Ghost, but other than that, not a lot of changes have happened, no. Actually, how do we think about our apprentice? Do we have them on here yet? I guess not. As deputy, you're put in charge of some of the battle training review with new warriors. It's your task to ensure that they are ready for the trials of Kayan life. Your training methods prove effective, and your new warriors are well prepared. Your dedication to the clan is recognized by all. Man, Pull Leopard really went from like being super grief-stricken for a while to being like the new deputy. They really rose up in the ranks quick, didn't they? You receive an ominous prophecy from the medicine cat. With the clan leader, you interpret the message and strategize on a potential actions to safeguard your clan. A prey shortage forces your, you to implement stricter hunting patrols. Your decision isn't popular, but you explain the necessity and manage to gain your clanmates' understanding. So, yeesh, seems like a lot of stuff is happening. A severe storm devastates part of your camp. You quickly arrange for repairs and organize temporary shelters for the affected clanmates. It seems like StarClan was trying to warn us that, like, these storms would, you know, destroy some part of our camp and make a prey shortage and all this other stuff happen really quickly. And we we seem to be liked by our clanmates, at least, being respected for our decision making. Seems like we get along with our leader really well, too, just based on how we do stuff around here. Might Paw's penchant and even for getting into and even starting trouble has almost made Cottonstar hold back on making them a warrior. However, Cottonstar can tell that Might Paw has been trying really hard lately to make it up. It would feel cruel to make them wait any longer. So Cottonstar names them Might Knows in honor of their enthusiasm. That's cute. Riffly sifts in the crowd, chest puffed out in pride as they watch Poppy Paw be, be named Poppy Slip and honored for their affection. They consider themselves lucky to be able to train such an amazing young cat and look forward to seeing the warrior they become. Aw, oh, Podpaw's already graduating. We barely got to have time with them as an apprentice. But Cottonstar is not quite sure that Poppypaw... Po not Poppypaw. That Podpaw has outgrown their childish quirks or their love of prank. 
They welcomed them as a full warrior into the clan and named them Podstower after their lightheartedness and resilience. Dahlia Snap is expecting Kit. They chose to continue their duties as usual for now. So who are you having Kits with? Probably Marsh Cloud, if I had to guess. Geez, 140 moons, you're about to be older than the leader. Bulleford had all of Mallow bump into them and they didn't even apologize. Low negative effect. Well dang. Oh no, Droplet Clan does not have enough medicine cats. Some sort of pest got to the herb stores and completely destroyed them. The medicine cats will have to clean it out and start over anew. Cotton Star no longer has green cough. Dahlia Snap seems to be getting over there. Morning. Marsh Whisker. Cosmos Park got frostbite. Lots of stuff going on. I feel like Edel Whiskus would be a good medicine cat. A harsh leaf bear is approaching, and your task was devising a strategy for the clan's survival. Your strategy of rationing and sharing heat provides effective, ensuring the clan's survival through leaf bear. Your foresight is commended by the clan. So it's not winter yet, but it's getting pretty dang close, it seems. Uh oh. You receive an ominous prophecy from the medicine cat with the clan leader. You re with the clan leader, you interpret the message and strategize on a potential action to safeguard your clan. You overlook the signs of fatigue in a clan mate and push them to join another patrol, resulting in their exhaustion. Oh man. Make an arrow while a locating nest in the warrior's den, leading to a night of discomfort for some warriors. Dang. Seems like I'm slipping up in my uh, role to be deputy now. <laughs> oh, Riftleaf is now expecting kits too. Ida Whiskus visits Elder Clan to congratulate them on their new medicine cat. Oh. So, seems like Ida Whiskus was, you know, also chosen to be a medicine cat that moon, so they probably wanted to go kind of learn what it feels like to be a medicine cat. Fuzzy Fur visits the other medicine cat. Downy Spots confessed their feelings to Mitel, but got rejected. Oh. A young apprentice is having trouble with their warrior training. You decide to step in and help. I don't think we have any apprentices left, but you know, whatever. You manage to encourage and help the apprentice who shows great improvement. You conduct a training assessment for one of the apprentices, carefully observing their skills and progress, and provide constructive feedback. I don't think we have any apprentices, do we? Oh boy, we must add a lot of deaths yesterday. But no, we don't have any apprentices yet, so it's probably just the newer warriors, you know. They're still getting used to actually being a warrior. You decide to confront a rogue cat without backup, endangering yourself and setting a poor example for younger clan members. Oops. Oh gosh, another ominous prophecy. In your haste, you forget to organize a hunting patrol, resulting in a short ration of fresh kill for that day. You accidentally schedule three different training sessions at the same location, causing confusion and wasting valuable time. I think we're stressed out, because we just keep making mistakes like this, I feel. Wool Leopard is getting very, very stressed at this new found responsibility. Oh yeah. Okay, here it is. Pod Store, Dawn Kit, Droplet Snarl, Dawn Tough, Rift Leaf, Copper Ghost, Marsh Whisker, Downy Spots, and Stag Hell are all killed after a fire rages through the camp. Our camp is about to have a lot of grief run through it. Cosmo Spark thinks Pool Leopard was nice to them today. Pool Leopard apologized to Cotton Star for something or other. Pool Leopard is rolling around a little too playfully with Copper Ghost. Moonflame compliments Pool Leopard on how sharp their claws are. Seems like Pool Leopard's getting along with people, and it seems like most of the cats understand that they're just a little bit stressed right now from their new responsibilities. So let's see, let's go on this patrol, and I think we should probably end the video after. I feel like we've accomplished a lot today. A young apprentice is having trouble with their warrior training. You decide to step in and help. Manage to encourage and help the apprentice. Who shows great improvement. Your mentorship skills are admired by the clan. But yeah, I think this is a good stopping place here, honestly. We became the deputy. We had our first apprentice. We've had a lot of death. I mean, what else could you want? 